Hey, good morning everyone. Hey, I wanted to share a quick word of encouragement with you. I've been spending a lot of time you know, reading on spiritual warfare, spiritual battles that we face, and, and I was led to these scriptures in Ephesians. I want to share them with you and, and share some wisdom about it. And um, hopefully it will encourage you when or if you're in a spiritual battle or maybe a loved one that you're praying for. Um, and it comes out of Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. And it reads, A final word, be strong in the Lord and his, in His mighty power. Put on God's armor so that you'll be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of this unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Wow. You know, guys... The enemy we face is real, and he's fierce. And he will stop at nothing to bring you defeat and destruction. But because you are a believer who truly is following the Lord, it won't be long without encountering obstacles and attacks Satan will hurl against you. God's word is true, though. This battle is real and intense. But he's given us his words that are true and powerful so that we will have the wisdom to stand strong against the enemy. The reality is this powerful chapter in, that the Apostle Paul wrote, he wrote these words well in chains in prison. Yet the truth is the enemy, no matter how powerful, how vicious his schemes, can never chain our spirits that have been set free by Christ. Paul was not silenced by the cruel attacks from the dark forces. And neither should you and I. We have no reason to walk in fear. For when we belong to Christ, the enemy never has the final word. Let me repeat that. For when we belong to Christ, the enemy never has the final word. We are secure in God's hands. And he tells us, to stand firm when the enemy comes with it, at us with all he has. We don't need to fear, but simply to run to our source, Jesus Christ. It is through him we will see victory in each situation. He exposes every scheme and tactic and renders them useless. So let me encourage you, if that's where you are or you're praying for a loved one, press on. Be courageous and free, never held back by fear or defeat, for God has the final victory over our lives. Well, guys, just felt that some of you need to hear that. I know I need to hear that daily, too. Um, so I hope it encourages. I hope it ministers to your heart today. Have an awesome day. Know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.